I am Devin Raju from Rotowash Waisa. Uh, we're just assembling an R30B that's going to go to the customer. But even if the machine comes in a box, it's a quick installation on the rotor wash. So we're just going to go through assembling the rotor wash. So the rotor wash base comes in a box. You open up the box, you can grab the machine and lift it and take it off the box and place it on a flat surface. Okay. So you got you got two leads on the rotor wash, which you've got is your your base where you've got your electric motor and then you've got your pump cord also comes with the rotor wash is your waste tray and in the waste tray you've got your your filter and you've got an instruction manual with an OPC leaflet on the inside and the OC, OPC button is this button here on the machine um, I'm going to put the waste tray back in position. So the waste tray is back in position. We um, remove the handle off the box. We, uh, on the handle, you've got the, the seven litre fresh water tank. Now they put a lid on it with a filter. This protects all the sand from getting in and the dirt. Are we gonna assemble our rotor wash? So it's okay, so take the handle, hold it up and just slide the handle onto the two speakers and important to lock the locks on them. And as you've seen, we just removed the rotor wash off the box, clipped it on and your rotor wash is safe and ready to go. So now we want to assemble, complete the assembly, your fresh water filter. It's in, there. And it's important to turn the tap on to make sure you've got water running through the filter going into the machine. So you assemble now. So we need to connect up the electrical side of the motor. Can turn the levers down, remove the electrical cable. And there's electrical cable. So you've got the base cord of your rotor wash that plugs on to your motor. And there's the base cord that goes in there. That goes in there and that plugs into it says moto can only go one way and that plugs into the motor that's nice and neat um, we've also got the pump electrical cord for the pump that supplies the pump with power plugged into the machine it's very 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 important to ensure both plugs are plugged in in the correct spots You've got a cable restraint to make sure that's connected properly. So it stops the cable from being pulled off the anvil by the grommet. So what, what we also do, we ensure that the machine is electrically test and tagged. So it meets requirements. Industries are slightly different. Some might be seven months, six months, three months. So we just follow the standards and the machine's electrically test and tagged. You've also got a really, really nice red clip on the cable, which we cable tie on it, which makes sure that the rotor wash is, the cable is all kept intact. And I'm just wrapping the cable onto the end. That's your rotor wash that comes from the factory. Uh, very important as well, the last detail that I'll give you is to ensure that your height is set on minimum. It's set on maximum at the moment, so it's got to make sure your height is set on minimum. And the way to do that is there's a dot on the side of the machine, and there's the minimum. So we just completed the assembly of an R30B. Um, I'm going to show you the care, instructions, and how to get the best performance of your rotor wash R30B. So important, your machine's assembled. Um, remove the electrical cord, unwind it from the handle, and it's very important to unwind the cord completely so you don't get current traveling around the cord when it's wrapped up. Um, and as we said on our previous video, please ensure that the cable is not damaged. Ensure that 
the current electrical test tag is current and your three pin plug is not damaged. On your rotor wash, on your rotor wash machine, you have a, a waste tray and this is your waste tray. So remove the waste tray off the machine. You have your indicator for your brush indicator. Remove your, your manual, your own use manual and close that. I'll explain in a second your brush wear indicator. You've got your stripper blade, which is a stainless steel stripper blade that sits against the drum of the machine, which is a very clever way of picking up water off the floor. So that's your rotor wash machine. You've also got a black standard brush uh, to remove the axle. You don't need a tool. You take your finger, stick it on there, and you can pull the axle from the machine. You can remove the brush. The brush has got a wear indicator. You take the brush, place it on the indicator on the waste tray. When you don't see the green, that means the brush is in good condition. But when you can start to see the orange and the red, your brush needs replacement. Very important to clean your rotor wash. Don't use high pressure gun or a garden hose. Just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and a spray and wipe. Very important as well on your rotor wash when you're putting the brush back. Don't try and fight with the brush, just place the brush in position and take the axle where you got the cord, stick it in and the axle goes in. Also very important, on the rotor wash you've got a reset button. Um, you could be cleaning an institution or cleaning a facility, you've got a, team to, a tea towel or you've got an obstruction, it jams on the brush you'll find the machine will go into protection, your reset will clock out, click out. Very important, unplug the machine from the wall, return the handle to the position, remove the object that caused the machine to trip, take a key or a pen and press the button on the inside, there's a black button that will pop up, press it in and you will hear the click sound. So we're returning our auto wash waste tray back on the machine, put your waste tray back on the machine, on the right hand side of your machine, you got your height adjustment where you got minimum to maximum. So the best way I explain it, it's very important to start the medium machine on minimum and the machine should just travel on its own. And if you find the machine is not traveling, you adjust it for one click at a time. And all this does, it retracts the wheels higher in and your brushes get more contact with the floor. Also, the rotor washers is different from every other machine. It's got an OPC button. And what this does is, if the operator is busy using the machine and the operator mistakenly drops the handle down, you'll find the machine will just switch off immediately, pick the handle up, pull up the, re the OPC button, and your machine will start traveling again once you start to energize and use the machine. Also, your rotor wash machine, your front brush and your back brush is exactly the same. So this is your front brush, your back brush, your front brush is your scrub brush, it scrubs the floor. Your back brush picks it up, throws it onto a drum, and that throws it into the waste tray. A rotor wash has also got fitted on the front of the machine, which is spring-loaded jet. So if you do heat it against the wall, you don't crack the pump housing, the jet will go in. That's your fresh water filter. And obviously if the filter is dirty, it's blocked. It's easy way to remove it. You can remove that. You press the red clip up, you can pull this filter off. Replace the filter and put the filter back again on. That's your filter replaced on the machine. When you're using your rotor wash machine, ensure the machine's not damaged. Plug the machine onto the supply. Ensure your seven liter fresh water tank is filled up. And this is where you fill your water on your rotor wash. Plug the machine on the wall. Ensure that the cord is over your shoulder so it doesn't get caught. In the brushes, you tilt the machine from left to right and you start the machine. The reason why you tilt it from left to right, you got a safety block that stops the machine from just pulling the handle and starting. And the way you start the machine, and it's important that you keep your back positioned always straight up while you're using the machine. And you've got a pump spray machine, which is electrically spray the water. And when you press this lever, that'll spray the water down. So thank you very much. That's the assembly and the use of the Roadwash R30B. Thank you.